So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the final last minute exam tips for your first year university exams. But before that, I got something very important to do. So I know that you are super stressed. It's okay. Calm down, relax. First of all, know that you got this. In this video, I'm going to help you uh, by sharing some of the most important last minute tips that you need to know before attempting your exams. I am Rohit Pivya, a third year medical student. First of all, you should flip through the book quickly. Like just take your guide and take your BDC or take whatever the book you are uh, studying from. Just take the book, just flip through it. Just flip through it one by one. Just look at what's the content present. Just recall all the information. You don't have to necessarily read everything. Just take the book, just go through the topics, go through whatever you underline. Like for example, you should take like probably around like four hours for a book. Take guide term. Within four hours, you should like just go through this entire book. All right. So once you are like done going through the entire book, now take the important questions. You should be having some question bank. All right. So if you are not having a question bank, it's still not late. Take a question bank. Take a good question bank and start going through the questions. All right. So for example, breast is an important question. If once you look at the question breast, immediately take your BDC or Vishram Singh, read through breast. So read every single page, all the lymphatic drainage, the anatomy, everything. Just read thoroughly. Study as if this question is coming for your exam. So study it really well. And by the way, I have some very important tips towards the end. So make sure you hang around till the end. So given that you have this question bank, solve every single question, especially solve the high yield ones initially and then go through solving all the rest of the questions. And one more very important thing is, you can't just solve a question once and then just leave it just like that because you are definitely going to forget it. So one very important thing that you should be doing is, you have to revise it again and again. For example, if you studied sternocleidomastoid master today, you have to again revise it two days later so that it still stays in your brain. So revision is key. You have to revise everything thoroughly. And coming to anatomy, anatomy is all about diagrams. End of discussion. So just draw the diagrams again and again. For example, there were all these cross sections of midbrain, pons, medulla, right? I literally had them on my fingertips. Like, you can literally ask me to draw them in the middle of the night and I will draw it perfectly. So, diagrams are the key. Like, the questioners, aka the examiners, are not interested in reading your text, okay? They don't want to read your text. They are not interested in going through tons and tons of paragraphs. If you have drawn this one single diagram, if you drew, if you drew that one single diagram of a cross section of midbrain, it lets them know that you have actually put your effort into studying. So it's like you're, you're directly giving them the signal that, sir, I have, sir or ma'am, I have done the effort, I have actually studied, and here is what I can remember, here is what I have studied, and this is what I'm showing you. Kindly <laughs> give me with my marks. That's it. That's that's what I was saying with the diagram. So diagram is key. Diagram is key. There's no doubt in that. So revise diagrams again and again and again. Like anatomy is equal to diagrams. And coming to physiology. Physiology is mainly concept. Please don't mug up anything because you're just going to forget. There's no doubt if you're memorizing stuff, you're going to forget. There's no doubt in that. So try to understand the concepts thoroughly. And if time permits, try drawing some flow charts before going to the exam. For example, uh, I may give you an example like uh, excitation contraction coupling. So if, if you get a question on excitation contraction coupling, practice a flow chart of the entire process. So if you are practicing the flow chart, replicating the same in the exam hall will be very easy. And coming to biochemistry, biochemistry is all about cycles. It's very sad that you have to be memorizing biochemistry. That's nothing you can do. You have to be memorizing. Study all the vitamins because definitely there's going to be a question on vitamins, minerals. That's definitely going to be a question that's very important. So study these thoroughly. You have to memorize, practice again, revision, revision is key. Okay. You have to revise continuously. So given that you have stayed till now, it's good. You got this, all the best, you got this. I'm going to give you these extra important tips that might not seem important, but are actually extremely important. So first of all, you have to sleep well the night before the exam. At least, minimum, at least sleep for like six hours. Because only if you're sleeping, your memory will be like processed. It will be, the memory will be deep and it will be like, how do I say it? Only when you sleep properly, the information will be able to be, the information will be tattooed in your brain. So replicating them in the exam will be easier. But if you don't sleep now, you'll, you'll genuinely forget it. Please just sleep at least for six hours and then stay hydrated. See, brain is mostly made up of water. In fact, this entire body is mostly made up of water. So water is very important. Be hydrated, stay hydrated. And I'm not going to say to you that you have to be not stressed. 
because i know it's it's going to be crazy stressful and uh, coming to anatomy one last very important tip about anatomy is that please use color pencils please draw in color because if you draw in color na it's, it it shows your effort all right it shows your effort the examiner should be more forced towards giving you the marks so please draw in colors so that's it guys a short video i want to make sure that you do your best in the exams so anyways all the very best and in this video i have talked about how to present your papers this video is like extremely important so i'll meet you guys in this video